This is the new Speedix Bond 2.0 device. It is equipped with a touch screen to control the different functions. Furthermore, the gap between the inductor coils is now wider that you can fit thicker golf clubs. At first, I want to show you the debonding process. Therefore, you have to press the debonding button. When you now lay in the golf club, the Speedix Bond starts heating. When you see some smoke, you can take the club out and release the bonding by pulling the club head off the shaft. Now I want to show you the bonding process. Here I have a KZG Forge 2M. When I look at the list of golf clubs that I have already bonded, I can see that the bonding time is 2.8 seconds. So I press the bonding button, adjust the time and press start. Now I can start the heating process. Put the golf club in and the Speedix Bond starts heating for 2.8 seconds and then it stops. When the golf club has cooled down again, it is ready to play. Finally, I want to show you the customizing process. I want to fit a tailor-made speed blade. When I look at the list, I can see that I haven't fitted it yet. So, I have to determine the exact heating time. Therefore, I need a blue thermochromic paint, which melts and changes its color at the bonding temperature of the adhesive. I put a little bit on the club head. Then I join head and shaft and when the lacquer is dry, I press the bonding and afterwards the customizing button. Now I can start. When I put the golf club in and trigger the sensor, the Speedix bond starts heating and counts the heating time. When the lacquer melts and changes the color, I take the club head immediately out and the Speedix bond stops heating and counting the time. Now you can accept the time to bond more golf clubs of this type or if you think you made a mistake you can press the try again button and have a new trial with a new golf club. This process was ok. I write the time down on my list that I have it for the next time when I have to fit a tailor made speed blade.